What's up guys? I'm going to show you how to perform a repair for technical service bulletin 2018652 uh, from VW. It has symptoms uh, where it hunts for idle or uh, it might go into limp mode. You'll throw a check engine light with maybe P1545102 or 0121, 0123, 221, or 222. Uh, if you open up Bad com, it'll show that you're having a problem with your throttle position sensor or uh, throttle valve, and so uh, replace. Obviously, you can have a bad throttle position sensor or uh, throttle body, which you have to replace the whole unit. But it also could be uh, this wiring, which they sent out a TSB for, and the fix for that is to splice in a new connector. They updated the connection so that they're no longer faulty. Uh, in some of the vehicles, the CCTA CBFA engines. They were too short and they put stress on the uh, the wires and they could cause a bad connection and intermittent communication with the throttle body. So I've already uh, put the harness together. So uh, there's two potential uh, harnesses and wire sets that you might need for your car. Yeah, it just depends. You have to check with uh, your VIN number to see which one is right for you. Um, there, I'll put a link to this. Uh, technical service bulletin with the two different wire sets in the description. Uh, just before I do anything, I'm going to open up VADCOM. Turn off all that. Uh, open up VADCOM and I'm going to check what uh, troubleshooting codes might be present. This is what the uh, VADCOM readout was. So I have the throttle position sensor G69P0121 code, uh, implausible signal, throttle actuator. G186 P1558 electrical malfunction intermittent. Uh, I have a mass airflow sensor code. I have the throttle valve controller P5 P1545 and uh, angle sensor G188 P0221 uh, code. Uh, and this is what led me to believe after uh, installing a, a brand new OEM throttle body that uh, this TSB needs to be performed. So electrical repair. So disconnect. Negative terminal the battery, tuck that away. So right here is what we're going to be working on. I want to go ahead and disconnect that. There we go. Uh, you can also disconnect the other two that are on this same harness. So now we got the harnesses out of the way. This is the one that we're working on. So this is the new updated harness. And it is, has an oval. So this 5N197306 is the old version. The 4HO973713 is the part that superseded this one. All right, so now that we've confirmed this fits, I'm going to start unwrapping this wiring harness. Got the wiring harness pulled all the way back. So we can go ahead and take a look, and we can see that wires five and three are twisted together. Wires one, four, and six are twisted together, and two is alone. So now if I lay these down, I have these each cut at different lengths, and this is to prevent uh, bunching up in one point. If we had all of them at this length, then we would have a nice big bulb right there. We don't want that. So these are all cut at different lengths uh, per the TSB. And uh, I'm also going to go ahead and twist these up so that they match up how they uh, how they were originally. Uh, the all yellow wires denote that an OEM fix was done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this off, but leave enough that I can uh, tell what color goes to what terminal, so I can go ahead and match these up. All right, going to the point of no return. Gonna go ahead and just snip these. Start with wire number one. So on here, wire number one is black and yellow. On my new harness, it is the longest wire, so I'm going to trim it all the way back there. Go ahead and strip it. And then we just go ahead and put this into the butt connector. Go ahead and crimp it down. Go. 
that's sealed. Do the same with the rest of them. So wires three and five are the ones that are twisted together and they're thicker than the rest. So you gotta really wind them tightly to get them to fit into these butt connectors. So I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect everything. So these are all spliced. Uh, hopefully good connections are good. I'm gonna reconnect all of these guys. And before I do the heat shrink and electrical tape, wrap these up. I want to make sure that it works. So I'm going to go ahead over here, reconnect the negative terminal. All right, so VCDS, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select the engine. So I'm going to look at 187, 188, alignment status. It says attachment is okay. These are inverses, so this is 84, this should be about 16. I'm going to go ahead and push that down, 87, 12, seems good. So this is not how you're supposed to do it per the Volkswagen manual, but I am outside my apartment, so I can't pull my heat gun out here with an extension cord, I don't have one long enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and heat shrink these guys. Now that these are all shrink wrapped, I'm going to go ahead and wrap them in electrical tape. Now the TSB does say uh, that, you know, per all OEM Volkswagen repairs, you use yellow tape to denote that an electrical repair has been done along with these yellow wires uh, so that future technicians are aware. I don't want to have yellow in my engine bay, so I'm just going to wrap this in black so it blends in nicely with the rest of the harness. all that together let's go ahead and do the adaptation take it for a ride all right so i'm going to go into vagcom select the engine here's the basic settings i'm just going to do a basic throttle body relearn this is 60. says that action okay turn it off all right so i'm out for a test drive everything seems to be good esp traction control lights went off once you drive about 10 feet, uh, they'll go off. They always go on when you take the battery off. So everything seems to be good. Uh, hopefully this solved my problem. We shall see if uh, I have any additional faults come up. With the new throttle body and the new harness, I think everything should be good.